Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Xiaofeng Li. I'm from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And I'm here, I'm here to present my work, Collaborative Variation Altogether for Recommended Assistance. This work is in collaboration with my uh, advisor, Professor James Chi. So uh, the main motivation of this work is to propose a unified framework for recommenda rec recommendation with multimedia content. It brings the deep generative models from deep learning world to the recommendation problem. So I got, I'm gonna give uh, some background. Uh, so nowadays, abundant online resources make users both easy and hard to find what they want. Especially there are more and more uh, multimedia resources, for example, movies, music, news, or uh, scientific articles. And on the other side, companies want to target users with correct items. So the recommender systems make effective use of the information available to learn your users' preferences and predictor likes. Some examples of the, uh, of the recommender systems are uh, the uh, uh, Google Scholar or Archive, um, Netflix, and uh, Amazon. So uh, a classical method used in many recommender systems uh, is the collaborative filtering. The collaborative filtering is uh, based on his history records or ratings. The philosophy is that uh, if similar users like the item, you may also like uh, this item. And there are memory-based or model-based methods, um, but uh, it's, ver it's very popular and effective, but it suffers from sparsity and cold start problems. So the sparsity problem is when uh, you have only a few ratings available and the rating matrix is very sparse. In this case, uh, collaborative filtering uh, performs very poor or even fails. Uh, the cold start problem is when new items come in and uh, no user has, has rated it yet and you, you have no rating, for, oh, sorry. And you have no, no rating for, uh, to do collaborative filtering. So uh, to resolve this, Problem, our intuition is that items, especially multimedia items, generally have content, maybe high dimensional, uh, unstructured content. For example, in um, movie re recommendation, you, we not only have the ratings, but also have the movie itself. For example, uh, the description, descriptions of the mo uh, movie plot or the posters of, of the movies. In um, paper recommendation, we not only have the uh, likes or not likes, we, but we have the abstract or the paper itself. So understanding, we think that understanding the content will lead to understanding the user's preferences. Um, while, while the user like, like this item, uh, while the user would like this paper, maybe because this paper uh, is closely related to his research area. And um, and, and we think that uh, by combining both collaborative information and multimedia content, we, we could understand our users' preference better and, and predict uh, uh, and recommend I uh, articles or items uh, that the user will more likely to like. But in order to do that, there are two challenges. One is uh, how to learn a good rec uh, representations from content for recommendation because a good representation in general may not be good. For example, a re representation learned uh, for classification, it is not necessarily uh, good for a recommendation task. We want to learn those part of content that, that are recommendation specific. A second challenge is that uh, how to integrate both the collaborative and the content information. Now, our, our proposed model is a generative model, so let me uh, first introduce uh, something about generative models. So a generative model is a, a directed graphical model like, uh, like what you see on the right. So it is assumed that uh, the data X is generated from uh, some latent variable Z. It associates the observed variable x with its latent variable z by defining a conditional probability p of x given z. It could be a, a Gaussian dis distribution with z being the main vector or Bernoulli distribution with z being the probability vector. A typical example is the latent Dirichlet allocation. Now, deep 
generative model use, uses a deep neural network to parameterize the conditional distribution P of, P of X given that with the parameter of theta. Um, some, some typical example is the variational autoencoder, uh, generative adversary network, or other kind of uh, neural density estimator. So the good thing of uh, doing that is uh, with a deep neural network, we can, uh, mo we can model a large family of very complex distri distributions instead of only like linear uh, model uh, distributions, like well, what people will normally do in traditional generative models. So, um, but it, deep generative, mo generative models has achieved a uh, uh, very exciting uh, results in generating data like images or text or sometimes even videos. However, although it is exciting, um, people generally don't know what this deep generative model can do besides generating some pretty uh, pictures. Here in this work, we uh, show that deep generative models could be very useful for recommendation. So this is our proposed model, collaborative variational autoencoder. It is a Bayesian generative model where uh, all the observations are assumed to be generated. So uh, we have two observations here, the content of the item and the ratings of items given by the user. In uh, overall picture is that the content is generated through the generation network and the ratings are generated through other parts of the graphical model and the model is uh, inferenced through an inference network. Let me uh, decompose the model. So on the, on the right, you, uh, it is a simplified figure where the shaded node X and R are uh, observed and the rest are uh, latent. So the rating R follows a normal distrib distribution with mean being a uh, dot product of user variable U and item variable V. The U user variable follows a normal distribution and item variable is composed of uh, both a collaborative uh, variable V dagger, which encodes the collaborative information and the content variable that which encodes the content uh, information. And the, the content itself, X is drawn from a conditional probability distribution P of X given that. So the uh, overall generative process is like this. So we have for each, for each item, well, we, we first generate items. For each item, we draw a latent collaborative variable V dagger from prior and a, con a content variable Z from prior. And then the, we can draw the content uh, X from the conditional dis distribution P of X given Z. And we can compose the item variable V by uh, summing up a uh, collaborative variable V dagger and Z. Now for the user part, for each user, we can draw the user variable U from the prior. With uh, item variable and the user variable uh, available, we can draw the rating from the normal distribution uh, with mean being the dot product of the two. And uh, uh, follow the generative process, the joint probability distribution can be written down as shown on the bottom. Uh, if you look, look at the gra graphical model, it's actually a very simple graphical model. It only has uh, six nodes. Uh, what makes it not simple is that it is powered by the deep neural network, which is shown on Z to, uh, generating to X. So um, let's see how we can make inference and do estimation. The posterior distribution of the, of the uh, latent variables will be uh, non-analytical and uh, intractable, especially because we have neural network inside. So we make variational inferences. Uh, where we create factorized uh, dis variational distribution, Q of U, Q of V, and Q of Z. Q of U and V will be a simple Gaussian distrib distribution, but Q of Z it won't be because uh, X and Z has a very complex uh, relationship. That's why we use an uh, inference network, another neural network, to parameterize the, the uh, distribution Q of Z. Uh, this is what you see on, on the uh, right bottom, uh, the figure, another inference network will we, uh, generate uh, the distribution of that. Um, in this way, uh, it, it should be noted that the inference network we just add, 
uh, make inference of that through two paths. One path is, is, uh, is to generate the content X, and the other path is to generate the rating R, as you can see on the, on the, right, uh, the red arrows. Um, the benefit of doing this is that it, is, it, it will not only learn a good data for representing useful information of X, but also for better recommendation. This will motivate the model to learn some unique representations that are, are recommendation specific. And now we construct the, uh, the variational inference. Uh, we can make the um, maximum a posterior estimate. So this is the objective, uh, MAP ob objective we are using. Uh, the first line is the, the error between predict, uh, predicted and true ratings. And the second line is the contribution of the content for recommendation. The third line is the uh, reconstruction error of the content part and the KR divergence regularization. The last line is the uh, regularization on the neural network side. To, um, to optimize this uh, MAP objective, we, we can iteratively optimize over UV and optimize over the network parameter. So uh, given the network parameters, uh, we, we can optimize over UV through a block coordinate, coordinate ascent. And you will get this closed form update rule where it requires the expectation of that, of the variation distribution. And the, uh, this expectation is directly up, obtained by the inference network. Now given UV, to optimize over the parameters of neural network, we use a stochastic gradient variation of Bayes, where we form the Monte Carlo estimate of the expectations over the Q of Z by drawing samples from Q of Z. It should be noted that the samples appears on the likelihood of the content and the likelihood of the item variable. And uh, we, we, we draw sample, samples according to the reparameterization trick. Then we can compute a gradient uh, uh, as shown on the, on the right corner and follow the gradient descent. And then we iterate uh, between these two proce uh, procedures until convergence. So this is MAP estimates. And also full Bayesian inference is also very easy because uh, the whole thing is a uh, uh, variational inference. Here we, uh, we, there are also trivia extensions for various content data because uh, I, uh, I didn't make any assumptions on how the data and network should be. We can use uh, different network architecture for different multimedia content. For example, for if the uh, data is vector form, we can use MAP, MRP, MRP pair. For spatial image, we can use uh, convolutional neural network, deconvolutional neural network pair. For sequential data, we can use um, recurrent neural network pair. And we can take advantage of the ver uh, various power for deep neural networks uh, uh, on the content part, uh, for, for example, the uh, adversary network uh, or autoregressive auto network. Um, and this is the ex experiment. Uh, we use two data sets on scientific articles with uh, two different settings to evaluate the performance. Uh, the content is the abstract from papers. Um, we spec out words representation and the vocabulary is selected according to TF-IDF. And uh, there are two training settings. One is sparse setting. In sparse setting, each user only rated one article. And that's a dense setting. Each user has rated 10 articles. And um, there, are, there are three baselines, collaborative topic reg regression, deep music, and collaborative deep learning. So the collab co CTR, collaborative topic reg regression, is a topic, I use this topic model, which in specific is the a latent duration allocation. So the problem with RDA is that um, it has limited, limited capacity because it is uh, generally a linear model. Uh, deep music uses feedforward neural network as a regress and, uh, and um, uses the latent vector from major factorization as the target. Now the collaborative deep learning uh, uses a stacked denoting autoencoder as a, as a learnable feature extractor. So it first uh, corrupt the input and try to reconstruct, uh, try and uh, pass through several uh, several layers and re try to reconstruct the input and, and take the bottleneck layer uh, as the 
uh, into into the other part of the uh, graphic model. So the metric we are using is a uh, top M recall, and here are the experiment experimental results. Um, on the top are results of a sparse setting for the two data sets. On the bottom are a result of dense setting. So the red curve is the proposed uh, CVAE model. Blue curve is the CDR. Uh, black curve is the CTR, and the pink one is the deep music. Uh, and you can see that the proposed CVAE model consistently outperforms uh, other models on bo both data sets and both settings. And uh, the CDR is a strong baseline and outperforms uh, other baselines by a large margin. And if, you, if we uh, want to see the uh, deep models and compare deep models and non-deep models, we can look at a CTR. Uh, which is the blue curve, we, we can see that um, CTR is uh, significantly inferior to uh, CVA and CDR. And, uh, uh, but, but comparing the uh, CTR with the deep music, we, we find that in sparse setting, uh, on the top in sparse setting, uh, CTR is actually uh, better than the deep music. Uh, uh, in dense setting, they are comparable, so it is uh, not like the Shallow model is, uh, it's not like the deep, deep model is always, are always better than a shallow model. You are, you're gonna have to use it correctly. Uh, otherwise you will be, uh, you are not gonna be better. So to, we also investigate the difference uh, between focusing more on content and focusing more on ratings. Uh, we put some ratio lambda R on the reconstruction term and the smaller of lambda R, the, uh, the more degraded performance of reconstruction. So the, fig the two figures on the on the left are the results, and we can we can, and I'm not gonna uh, read here. So 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 the conclusion is that uh, in sparse setting, it is better to uh, more focus on the content part because there there will not be like uh, much information to extract if the if the net, if the rating matrix is, is uh, very sparse. And uh, on the right side, uh, we show the uh, performance variation with the latent dimensions and, and generally uh, denser settings. Uh, in, in if a rating matrix is denser, then it favors uh, larger uh, latent dimensions. So here are some uh, qualitative results um, where uh, in this example, the user has rated uh, one article information re retrieval as statistical translation so if we look at the articles recommended by the CVAE, we can see that CVAE successfully identified the user I as a, a researcher working on information retrieval with an interest in using language models. Because the uh, articles recommended by the CVAE are all on language models or topic models for information retrieval. While on, on the bottom, the CDR recommends uh, some uh, articles that, that are pure retrieval or even uh, image retrieval stuff that are not very quite related to the rated article. So uh, in conclusion, we propose a generative model to simultaneously learn representations from content and collaborative relationships from ratings for recommended assistance. And it is a unified framework for recommendation with various multimedia content and we also divide the efficient variational inference with back propagation to learn the model. Um, thank you for your attention, and you can find our released code in, in the list link. Thank you.